period party. That sounds really nasty when you say it out loud. Hey guys, it's Sharon. I just want to say one thing. I first thought this year was going by so freaking slow and now I can't catch a break. Like where is the time going? Wow, Miss Rona, you really took it from us, didn't you? Anyways, you already know what this video is. It is the end of the month and everyone knows, and if you don't, now you do, that I make up period horror stories at the end of the month every single month. And I decided let's do a fun little twist for this one. Let's talk about your first period horror stories. So yes, ladies, I asked you guys to send me your first time ever getting your period and how mortifying it was. And I'm about to reveal it to the whole internet because why not, you know? I'm not afraid to talk about these things and neither should you. Now that being said, if you want to see more videos like this, give us a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. Follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter so you can see my videos just like this one. And of course, if you want to see more, like I mentioned, I do make a lot of period related videos. So I have a much more on my channel that you can binge at all times. And of course, you can always subscribe for more. But enough about that. Go grab your tea your heat pads, your pads, whatever, and let's get into this. I bled through the mattress and the worst part was having to explain to my five-year-old cousin that it was not juice and that he couldn't lick it. I just want to know what is up with little kids and suspicious liquids. If you are not new to my channel and you have watched a bunch of these period horror stories videos before, suspicious liquids are a thing and I always mention it, you know, if you're eating, touching, drinking, whatever, some suspicious liquids, that's just like survival of the fittest. That's your own personal karma. Like I'm just saying, if I saw some suspicious liquid on a mattress, my first thought isn't, oh my god, let me lick it. But I guess if this is a little kid, you know, but I, I don't know. Little kids are wild. Besides the point, that is a memorable first period, though. Just telling your little cousin, hey, whatever you do, just don't drink my period. Thanks. Nasty. The first time I ever got my period, it was New Year's Eve. Literally talk about New Year, new me. You are now a woman. Congrats. Happy 2020. And then the whole year went to downhill. Anyways. I got my first period in fifth grade on Valentine's Day. On our class party, I noticed that it felt weird down there, so I went to the bathroom. I started freaking out when I realized that I had got it. So I spilled a punch on my seat to make it seem like that's what happened, when secretly, the stain on my pants was not punch. These are my favorite stories because these are just life hacks. This is genius. I'm just saying, obviously, you're not always going to have punch near you or on you, but if you do, let's say you have a red liquid on you, hopefully not suspicious, and you happen to have your period and you're stained, just accidentally spill that other red liquid on you and then be like, oh my god, yeah, I just spilled ketchup on me. <laughs> so weird. No, it doesn't smell like period blood to me. At least it'll help with the stain if you can't change into other clothes or go home and go change. So thank you for this life hack. I had it on the first day of seventh grade and instead of using a pad, I wore four underwears and leaked. Yeah, so so let's not do this because I know what you're thinking. Okay, I'll wear more underwear and the leak won't go through. Underwear is very thin, y'all. Especially if you have a heavy, heavy flow. Underwear can't stop her. So another little fun tip that you can do instead of wearing multiple underwear because your blood's just gonna Niagara fall right through it is go to the bathroom and grab a bunch of toilet paper and just wrap it up. Just wrap and wrap and wrap and make your own little makeshift pad. Is that gonna last all day? Absolutely not, which is why you should do it multiple times throughout the day if you can because again, it's just toilet paper It's not a pad. I feel like wearing four underwear just starts to like cut the circulation down in your thighs And you don't want to pass out because of that I saw blood in the toilet and I thought it was from the water So I literally started panicking as I thought my house was haunted. Oh, no, baby The only thing that's haunted is your downstairs area me aunt Flo She's gonna haunt you for the rest of your life until you hit menopause I grabbed my blood with my hand and showed my mom home saying that I got my period and I was laughing and crying at the same time. First thing I want to point out is no sentence better summarizes your period than I was laughing and crying at the same time. Me. But I just can't imagine just grabbing the blood and being like, look, it came from down there, mom. I mean, you'd think she'd just grab her mom and show her the toilet or the stained underwear, but nope, flat out just pick that thing up. Look, I'm bleeding. I mean, you do you, sis. I hope you washed your hands after. My mom didn't know I was having my first period and she thought I had a kidney infection and she took me to the hospital. What's wild about this is that, you know, you'd think your mom would know about periods and you'd think that she would think if you are bleeding from your downstairs area, 
then it would be a period versus a kidney infection. You know, maybe that's just me. I guess maybe the mom is just in real big denial. She's like, my daughter is not a woman. It's just a kidney infection. I guess better safe than sorry, but just imagine that doctor being like, ma'am, this is not a kidney infection. Your daughter just started her period. I'd be so embarrassed. <laughs> I got my first period on April Fool's Day and I was trying to tell my mom and my sisters but they didn't believe me. So for a whole month, I hid my period. Here's the thing, if you got your period for real, you can just show them the blood on your underwear, grab it in your hands if you really wanted to like the other girl, or just straight up show them the toilet and be like, oh really, you don't believe me? What the heck is that? Why is there a murder in the toilet right now? Explain that, mom. I mean, how do your period because someone doesn't believe you? Oh baby, trust me, I'll show you. My mom said, you realize you can produce a baby now, right? Right in front of my dad and my uncle. I need to understand the purpose of this because I can only think of two reasons of saying something like this. One, your mom really wants you to have kids very soon, which is weird because you'd think most girls get the period from like nine through 15. So it's like, mom, I'm like 10 years old. You're not getting a kid from me anytime soon. Or two, maybe she wants you to think about not having a kid and remember that now you're a woman and have your period and to have safe sex. So it could go either way. But at the end of the day, it is still a very strange thing to say to your kid when she gets her period for the first time, especially in front of her father. You know, I'd just be like, oh, sweetheart, you're a woman now. Not, nah, you can give me grandkids now. But you know, to each their own. I was camping with my Girl Scouts troop and I sat down on a log near the fire to roast marshmallows. After I was done, I got back up and reached down to wipe off pieces of bark when I felt something wet. As soon as I realized what happened, I heard a little girl scream at the top of her lungs. It turns out she had just sat in my period blood and thought it was a dead animal. My favorite thing about this is that the girl automatically thought, oh my god, it's a dead animal. Well, where's the body? Is that morbid? Anyways, lesson learned. Just don't sit anywhere and you won't bleed anywhere. <laughs> Bless her freaking heart. Homegirl was just trying to enjoy some roasted marshmallows, sing some campfire songs, tell some spooky stories, and then that spooky story came to life when she sat in someone else's blood. Yikes. You know, as a woman, I'm not ashamed to have my period, and I'm not ashamed if I get stained, but if I sit in someone else's else's period blood yo <laughs> suddenly all that goes out the window I'm disgusted <laughs> and that is the last day this girl ever went to any Girl Scouts camping trip <laughs> when my older sister got her first period she got ice cream then when I got mine nobody cared my younger sister got a party there's period parties what the heck well I'm gonna do that now every time I have my period now I'm just gonna throw a party even though it's not my first one long story short this is what we like to call the middle child curse I guess they're left in the middle, pun intended. I mean, if it helps, the older sister got ice cream. The real enemy here is the younger sister that got a party. I'm jealous and I'm not even related to her. I want a period party. That sounds really nasty when you say it out loud. I thought my blood was poop. This just took me back. When I first started getting signs of my first period, I remember I would see like brown stuff in my underwear. I'd be like, how am I pooping out of my front downstairs area, you know? And it just freaked me out. And then as I got older, I learned that that is completely normal. So if you see some little white liquid or even some brown liquid just coming out of you and you're a little bit confused, understand that's normal and your period is probably coming very soon. Fun facts, but yep, I think we all thought it was poop at one point. My crush walked past me in the hallway and said I had something on my butt. So I ran into the bathroom and checked. Sure enough, I got my period and my crush was the first to know. I could never look him in the eye again. I understand how embarrassing this might be, but can we talk about the fact that the crush actually let the girl know instead of letting her walk around the rest of the day with a stain on her butt without having the slightest idea. So in reality, this crush is kind of like a really cool dude and came in clutch for letting her know. And that's all that matters. My best friend was cheering. The out if it was all white and she was on top of the pyramid and suddenly blood started dripping down her leg. See, now here's my thing. If you're gonna have a cheerleading squad, why are your uniforms white? White gets so freaking dirty. Like if I'm out on the football field cheering or whatever and I fall, suddenly I'm covered in grass and dirt and you can see it because my uniform is white. Second of all, periods. Really? But did that not click? You got a bunch of females on this cheerleading squad. Do you think a white uniform is gonna work out for them? Absolutely not. And this is a great example. Even though it technically dripped down her leg, like, it would have jerked down her leg in any color uniform, but still. I got my first period on my 13th birthday. My sister told me that my birthday present was going to be a tampon. A 
Tampon, just one tampon. Really, sis, can you be any cheaper? You couldn't give me the whole box? I have mentioned this so many times before. Listen, y'all, tampons and pads are not cheap. I didn't choose to have my period. Why do they cost that much? And why are you only giving me one, sissy? I didn't tell my mother for around three to four months and I would pay my best friend for supplies. She would give them to me in a paper bag. We got in trouble and had to have our backpacks and lockers searched and sniffed by dogs because they thought that there were drugs in the bags. This is the most suspicious way I've ever heard about giving people period supplies. I mean like not even like a pencil pouch. Y'all had to do like the paper bag route. That is the most obvious and most just stereotypical way ever to sell someone drugs. <sighs> Ladies, don't be ashamed to tell your mom. I bet they felt so ridiculous when they found out it wasn't drugs. It was just freaking pads. They were probably like, really? Because I am also like, really? <laughs> Note to self, make a video on lots of places where you can hide pads and tampons, none including paper bags. <laughs> I had all the symptoms that my first period was coming, so I used a diva cup and I got my period. I splattered the blood on a pillowcase and gave it to my brother for Christmas. Why would you do such a thing? Are you okay? You should be grateful for all presents you receive, right? But if I were to receive a bloody pillowcase, I would not stop throwing up, honestly. And I would throw that pillowcase right back in the person's face and I would run away and probably never talk to them again. But alas, this is the person's brother. He can't really do much about it, can he? All right, Peter, that kid. That was one of the worst Christmases he ever had, guaranteed. Let's not gift people our period blood artwork, guys. A little bit weird, a lot of weird, but mainly very gross. Me being a dumb nine-year-old, put a Band-Aid down there. My parents didn't realize until three cycles later and now we don't buy Band-Aid anymore. A band is not gonna stop anything down there, okay? Because your period blood comes out of a hole, right? So if anything, you think of like using like a wine cork or something. Please don't, by the way. Don't take that as an idea. I'm just saying. Now we're just getting too much into details right now. Cute, innocence. Yep, don't use a band-aid down there. Lesson learned. <laughs> I was watching Just Sharon's period life hack video. I started to feel major cramping pain, went to the bathroom, and I was a woman. Wow. I feel so honored. My video and me. We have become such a special moment in this girl's life. How ironic is it though to be watching a video about your period and when your period's coming for the first time and then getting your period for the first time. That's just the universe working its magic right there, y'all. My boy best friend saw I was bleeding and he looked at me and went, I understand you got your period, but why can't you hold it in? We're not friends anymore. This man really said, why can't you hold it in? No, 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 listen. I feel like people who don't have periods can't comment on what it's like to have a period because you don't know what it's like to have a period. No, we can't hold it in. If we could hold in our periods, do you think I'd have a period? I'm glad they're not friends anymore because that trash, bye. I was sitting on Santa's lap when he said, are you peeing? No, Santa, I'm bleeding, get it right. Also, get me a puppy for Christmas. <laughs> when I first got mine in June, I did it to my mom. She found out in September and then a few weeks later, I had to have an ovarian cyst removed. So I recommend telling your mom so that she can take you to an OBGYN. That is wild. Okay, so an OBGYN is a gyno. I do have a video, a girl talking where I talked about the gyno. If you guys do want to go check that out, that is the female doctor. This is why it is very important to tell your mom. First of all, you shouldn't be ashamed about having a period. And if you don't have a mom to tell, it is still important to tell an adult, whoever you live with, because again, you shouldn't be ashamed to have a period. It is extremely normal. And sometimes you could have issues that you don't even know are there like this girl had with her cyst. So yeah, you might want to tell your parents just in case guys. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. If you have your own first period stories that you want to share, go ahead and comment them down as well. Now, shout of the week goes to Kennedy on Instagram. Thank you so, so much. If you do want to be shout of the week, just follow me on my Instagram and stay active. And of course, if you want to see more videos, I have a bunch more on my channel. Lots of period hack videos. And since back to school season is coming, I will be making a lot of period school related videos, even though I don't know if people are going back to school with Miss Rona going on, but whatever, you know, we can pretend we are to feel some kind of normalcy. But anyways, if you want to see more videos, definitely subscribe for more. And of course, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.